Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing matte Pilates for osteoarthritis. All right, if you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe by clicking the subscribe button here. And also if you press the bell button that you can see, that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video to the channel. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get ready and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so make sure we've got something nice and comfy to lie on. And before we start, one thing I did want to say is that with osteoarthritis, I completely understand that you are in a lot of pain. And what we need to do with arthritis is we need to move. The movement itself will help with the pain relief. So that is what I'm gonna be focusing on today. Not doing really strenuous exercises, but doing exercises that are gonna get you moving, get the blood flowing and help ease that tension in the body that's caused by being in pain, all right? So what we're gonna do first of all, is we're gonna come and lie down. Let's have the knees bent, lie yourself down and then just take a moment to settle the body down, okay? So we're gonna have the arms down by our side. We're gonna have the feet hip width apart. We're gonna relax through the rib cage and we're gonna start with some deep breaths to begin. So take a deep breath in through the nose and then a long breath out through the mouth, pulling the tummy muscles in. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, pulling the tummy muscles in. So you're just pulling the belly button in, we're not moving the spine yet. And then one more, inhale. And exhale. Now we're gonna to start to mobilize the spine. So you're gonna take a breath in. You're gonna exhale, pulling in, tilting the pelvis towards you. And then you're gonna to inhale to return. We're gonna exhale to tilt. And inhale, return. Exhale to tilt. Inhale, return, and exhale to tilt. Inhale, return. Now this time we're gonna to exhale to tilt, and we're gonna press into our feet and try and lift the spine up. So we're just curling the spine up, but we're gonna keep our ribs on the mat. So you're really squeezing the bottom. You're probably gonna feel the stretch here. That's good, then you're gonna take a breath in, breathe out and gently take that spine back down to your neutral position. So take a breath in, exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, so fill your belly button pulling in, tilt the pelvis, press down into the feet, lifting that pelvis up, bottom in the air. Inhale, exhale, Coming back down, we'll do two more. Deep breath in, breathing out, tilting the pelvis, peeling up. Inhale, exhale to come down. Last one, deep breath in, exhaling to tilt, pulling in, lifting up. Inhale and exhale coming down i'm going to try and go all the way up so deep breath in exhale tilt press down into those feet lifting up and this time keep going lifting all the way up now when you get to the top i want you to press down with your hands you can feel your arms working inhale exhale soften through the chest coming down through the spine all the way down and onto your mat. Deep breath in, breathing out, tilting. Press into the feet first, 
Try and tilt a little more and then feel that spine peeling up off the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Coming all the way down. And onto your mat. Deep breath in. Breathing out, tilting. Peeling up. Lift, 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 lift. Inhale. Exhale. To come down. And we'll do just one more deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt. Peeling that spine up. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back down. Now I want you to take the right foot and flex it. So you're lifting your toes up and then I want you to slide that foot out, so lengthen out. So think of really reaching the leg out at the hip. Okay, point the toes and then pull that leg back in. Let's do that again. So you're going to lift the toes up, flexing the foot, reaching that heel away. We're keeping our spine still now, but we're still using our core. Point the toes and come back in. Lift the toes, reaching out with the heels. Point the toes and coming in. One more time, lift the toes, sliding the heel away. Point the toes and come back in. Let's change legs. Lift the toes and slide away, reach away. Good. Point the toes and come back in. And again, lifting up, flexing the foot. Think of sliding that heel away. Point the toes and come back in. Lift and extend. Point and come back and lift and extend. Point and come back. Well done. I want you to put your hands on your hips, elbows down. And now keeping our pelvis level, so imagine you're balancing a cup of tea here on your tummy. You're going to try and open your right knee out to the side without your pelvis tipping. So you're trying to keep these two hip bones in line. So you only go as far as your hips will allow. And then you're going to bring the knee back. And again, we're going to open and back. So we're gently stretching out the muscles, mobilizing that hip and come back one more. Open and back other side. Open and up. Open and up. Open and up one more, open and up. Let's take the arms up. Let's have your palms facing away from you now. Bring your shoulders onto the mat, try and keep them there and just reach your arms overhead. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch here. And then come back. <sighs> Inhale to reach overhead. And back. Inhale, reach, and back. Now, if that's too painful to go that far, you just go as far as you can. All right, it's all about getting you feeling good. Reach, and back. One more time. Reach, and back. Now, we're going to do a little circle. So, you're going to reach overhead as far as is comfortable. Circle the arms around and bring them back up. Reach, circle, around and up. Reach, circle, around and up. 
and reach. Circle around and up. Let's go back the other way. Down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. Down, around, and up, and down, around, and up. Well done. Bring your hands back down by your side. I want you to float your right leg up. Just so the knees above the hip. Okay, we're going to do a little extension and bend. Extend and bend. Extend. You don't have to straighten the leg, it's just giving you a little stretch. All right, take that leg down. Let's bring the other leg up. So, knee above your hip and then extend and bend extend and bend extend and bend and extend and then bring that leg down now we're going to bring the right leg back up and depending on how you feel in terms of your flexibility you can keep the knee bent or you can extend the leg a little bit more Okay, and we're just going to do a little circle. So you're either going to visualize if you've got your knee bent, drawing a circle with your knee or drawing a circle with your foot. Okay, it's kind of a semicircle, in fact, because what we're going to do is take the knee, the leg forward, and then go a little circle out to the side and up. Down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. One more. Good, let's reverse it. Out, down and up. Out, down and up. Out, down and up. One more. Out, down and up. Well done. Let's take that leg down. Let's go on to that uh, exercise on the other side. Okay, so extending as far as you feel comfortable, keeping your hips still. We're going to go forward, out to the side and up. Forward, out and up. Forward, out and up. And forward, out and up. Back the other way. Out, down and up. Out, down and up. Out. Down and up. One more. Out, down and up. Well done. Take that leg down. And now I'm going to get you to roll over onto your side. Okay, so onto your side. If you feel at this point you want a pillow under your head, then please do go get one. Okay, and what we're going to do is keep the bottom knee bent. We're going to extend the top leg. Okay, so we'll have this hand in front for support. I want you to think of reaching this top leg away. So it's almost like you're sliding it along the floor. And then you're just going to do a little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And lift lower. Coming to hip height. I want you to flex your foot and I want you to try and draw it forward as far as you can go. Point the toes and then take it back as far as it will go without arching your back. So you've got to pull in here. Okay, you want to feel this in the bottom muscle. Now we're going to flex, bring it forward. And we're going to point and take it back. Flex, bring it forward and point take it back we'll do one more flex bring it forward point take it back well done bring that knee down come on up and let's go do that onto the other side okay so we're lying down we've got our bottom leg bent our top leg extended think of really reaching away with that hip and then we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and bring that leg down so it's aligned with your hip, flex the foot and come forward, point the toe and come back, 
flex and come forward, point the toe and go back. Flex and forward, point the toe, go back. One more, flex and forward and point the toe to go back. Well done. Bring that leg down. Let's roll now onto our front. Okay, and we're going to have our elbows bent, our hands down. And let's have the feet apart. And if you can, try and turn the legs out from the hips so you can feel how that's utilizing your bottom muscles. Okay, you can take them a little wider if, you, if that's more comfortable. Hands down, tucking the chin slightly. And then let's just think about shoulders. We want the shoulders relaxed. If you can't feel that relaxation, then widen your hands a little so you feel your shoulders just switch off. Now we're gonna do a little extension through the neck. So take a breath in and on your out breath, think of the crown of your head reaching forward and up. So you're just coming up a little bit. You'll feel the work in your upper spine. Take a breath in and breathe out to come back down. And again, reaching forward, lengthening through the spine coming up. So try and visualize the back of your neck and trying not to have any creases in the back of your neck. And again, reaching out and up and lower down and out and up and lower down. We're going to see if we can come a little higher. So we're going to reach out and up. Try and push the weight into your hands, keep your shoulders down and see if you can lift a little bit more to wherever you feel your back is comfortable going. Take a breath in and breathing out, coming all the way down. And again, deep breath in, breathe out, lengthen out. And if you can only come to here, just hold it there. Otherwise, just come to whatever feels okay for you. Inhale and exhale to come back. Two more, reaching out, lengthening, lifting. Inhale and exhale to lower down. This is your last one, reaching out. Good. And lift. Inhale. And exhale. Coming all the way down. And then from there, roll back onto your side. Bend your knees. Push yourself up. And there you are. That is your session for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you are someone that has osteoarthritis, I want to really encourage you to try and move. Even when it's painful to move, the work that we're doing is we're working with the muscles. It's really going to benefit you and you need to have strong muscles so you can support those bones. All right, so try and do this at least twice a week, ideally four times a week would be great if you can. It's just a short routine, so uh, it's plenty of opportunity for you to squeeze it into your day. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to press the like button, do subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and bye for now. If you'd like to support me and this channel, then you can buy me a virtual cup of coffee on Ko-fi. See all the details down below in the description box.